Liquid. Liquid! I think he's awake. He's more resilient than I thought. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? You're fortunate to be alive. Until you came along, Sniper Wolf had never failed to terminate her quarry. You've come far indeed. Revolver Ocelot, Vulcan Raven, Psycho Mantis. You've defeated them all. Stupid ninja beat me, not him. Really, it's quite an impressive resume. However, I do find it extremely aggravating to have my associates continually underestimate you. But rest assured, I won't make that mistake. How could I? I know you as well as I know myself. It was inevitable that we'd meet one day. And now that we have, it's certainly a revelation. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think? Brother! What should I call you anyway? Little brother? Big brother? Twin brother? I suppose it really doesn't matter. What is paramount is that you and I are the last surviving sons of Big Boss. We share the... Yes, what is it? Really? Then what? Those fools! Very well, Raven. I'll be right there. Washington isn't responding to our demands. They're trying to avoid any leaks about Metal Gear and their precious new nuclear weapon. Predictable. Always putting politics ahead of innocent lives. So be it. We launch in ten hours as planned. I have to make preparations. Solid Snake is all yours, Ocelot. Don't forget to get a sample of his DNA. We'll need it to correct the Genome Army mutation. I thought we needed Big Boss's DNA to cure that. Yes, but Snake's DNA will function as a temporary stopgap measure. Oh, and Ocelot. Don't screw up with him like you did with the DARPA chief. Patience, right? <laughs> exactly. Your woman is still alive. Meryl. I gave her the gift of mercy. I did it for you. Until we next meet, my handsome prey. Hmm. She always falls for her most challenging marks. You should be flattered. Flattered isn't the word I'd use. So... Metal Gear was actually designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead. Why don't you ask Campbell? The Colonel? Never mind. I'll ask the questions, carrier boy. The card key you had in your possession. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that damn key? Trick? That weasel Baker said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. What happened to Meryl? Like Wolf said, she's still alive. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake, and we'll soon find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just beg for mercy and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. As long as it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know it was the French who first began using electric shocks as a means of torture? Uh, the old French fry, right? Look, why don't you cram the supervillain rhetoric and just get on with it? Cute. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I have some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. The Geneva Convention doesn't apply here. No one's coming to save you. Scared now, tough guy? You should be. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> 
How was that? <sighs> Just a little <sighs> jolt to wake you up. Don't worry. We'll get to the meat of the interrogation soon enough. But first, I think you could use a little tenderizing. Again. <laughs> Had enough? I certainly hope not. We've got a long way to go. Again. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that one looked particularly painful. Snake, are you still with me? Yeah, you're dead. I promise. Oh, much better. I like spirit in my subjects. Again! Don't you dare turn away, you feckless cow. No! Quiet! Look at the monitor. I want you to see this. Your little boyfriend is finished. Ocelot will torture him beyond the limits of human endurance. Slowly and painfully. And it's all thanks to you. No! Oh yes. You know very well that this is all your fault. I was there, remember? I saw your stupidity firsthand. Your reckless incompetence. You made it so easy for us, Meryl. Thank you. Shut up! Shut your filthy mouth! Ha! You are weak and pathetic. In my native Kurdistan, you would be... What? What are you looking at? Who? Oh no. Liquid. This is Wolf. We have a problem. You've had it, Snake. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> it's okay. Just say mercy and the pain will stop. Come on. I won't tell anybody. I promise. <sighs> you! No! You won't take my other arm! Stay the hell away from me! On your feet, soldier. Who? Uh. Gray Fox. Snake, I... Gone again. Oh well. At least my stuff is still here. Wolf, status! I'm en route to intercept Snake. I'll be there in three minutes. Belay that. Hold position at the underground base entrance and await my orders. I'll deal with Snake myself. Liquid out. Damn that man. How dare he interfere with my hunt. Wolf? Huh? Emmerich, what are you doing here? I thought you were taking care of the wolves. I am. I mean, I was taking care of them. But I... I was worried about you. No need. I work alone, remember? You shouldn't take so much diazepam. It's not good for you. Comes with the territory. Integral staple of a sniper's diet. So... Are you going to kill Snake? He is my prey. But why? Why do you have to? Enough! I like you. I like you very much. But I do not have to explain myself to you. I... okay. Here. This handkerchief belonged to my mother. She died when I was very young. Hold on to it for me. In case anything should happen. Don't! I don't want to hear it. Just be careful. That's all I ask. Farewell. Snake, how are you doing? Well, for a guy who just got electrocuted over a dozen times, peachy. So, Colonel, when exactly were you planning on telling me about the new nuclear weapon Metal Gear was supposed to launch? Um, uh, well, um, 
I mean, seeing as how I'm risking my life here, I think you owe me a few straightforward answers. Look, Snake, this is obviously a complicated situation. Snake, it's Miller. I need to speak with you on a secure frequency immediately. Your lack of credibility is what makes this complicated, Colonel. Snake out. Snake, wait a sec. The line is secure, Master Miller. What's up? Listen, Snake. I've just heard some disturbing chatter originating from within our own intelligence community. You need to be extremely wary of your internal contacts from here on out. This includes Campbell, Naomi, even your own government. Yeah, I'm starting to figure that out for myself. The distortion of mission details is one thing, but I have good reason to believe the treachery goes much deeper. Deeper? What do you mean? I don't have specifics yet, but I'll get back to you as soon as I do. Watch your back. Miller out. Mei Ling. It's Snake. You there? We're all here, Snake. Listen. About the nuke. Drop it, Colonel. We'll discuss this at another time. However, considering Meryl's life is in my hands, I'll presume I can trust your core intel for the time being. I'm at the entrance to the communication tower, Mei Ling. Where to next? You need to take the elevator down to ground level. That should put you right by the entrance to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Be careful, though. The tower should be heavily guarded. There he is! Fire at will! You're kidding! Mei Ling, I'm being pushed to the upper levels of the tower and I can't get to the elevator below. I need an alternate exit strategy. According to the base schematics, the only way out is through the roof access. Great. <sighs> okay, I'm on the tower roof. What's next? <sighs> I just knew you'd find your way up here. Liquid. Sorry, brother. End of the road, I'm afraid. What do you mean by all this brother talk? Just who the hell are you? You really don't know, do you? You should talk to our father. He knows the truth. I'll send you to hell so you can ask him. Ha! What's wrong, little brother? No room to dance? A pistol? Please! I've shot down S-16s with this helicopter. You're just some guy running around on a roof. This is like a video game. A video game I can't lose! Enough of this running and hiding. I've got to get off of this roof. Okay, okay. This has been mildly entertaining, Snake. But I have more urgent obligations that require my attention. Let's put an end to your nonsense once and for all, shall we? No! It's not possible! Damn! Can't maintain altitude! Parachuted out just in time. What a damn shame. So, Snake bested you too. Strange. I thought you were incapable of underestimating your brother. Gloat all you like. Just know that I will achieve my objectives regardless of whether Snake lives or dies. Does that include Fox Die? We're running out of time. Leave Fox Die to me. Where is Snake now? He's rappelling down the tower toward our position. Good. I'm heading underground to complete the final preparations of Metal Gear. Can I depend on you to finish this? Of course I can. How foolish of me. Once you've killed him, join us below. This hunt ends today. Snake, it's Campbell. What the hell just happened? A noisy fly was bothering me, so I took some time out to swat it. I see a snowfield at the base of the tower. Mei Ling, what's the story? You're right on target, Snake. 
Metal Gear's underground maintenance base entrance is at the end of the snowfield. It looks pretty quiet down there. I don't see any imminent threat. Oh no. Snake, are you there? Otacon, this is not a good time. When is it ever a good time? Snake, Sniper Wolf is in the area. I believe she's going to ambush you. Kid, where the hell were you ten seconds ago? I'm already taking fire from that crazy bitch. I'm on my way. I have to stop this. No, Otacon. Do not. I repeat, do not enter the snowfield. I can't have Wolf bait me into the open again. Damn it, she's good. He'll be killed. The fool should never have come out here. He is... He is exactly what I need. The perfect lure for Snake. Just like that witless woman. It would be so easy to hobble him with a few surgically precise shots. Bleed him out slowly. Watch him plead desperately for his life. He will not survive this. <sighs> Damn it, kid. Get your ass down. Fool! Amateur! Stop hesitating and fire! Uh. Uh. No! No! You son of a bitch! You shot her! Otacon, stop! Don't you understand? I loved her! I, I had no choice, kid. I'm sorry. There is no one to blame, Hal. Wolf, help me, Snake. We can still save her. No, it was a kill shot. And a good one, mercifully executed. This is where I will die. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. You showed me the face of compassion. A face I thought I would never see again. My heart had become stone these last few years. My only focus was the kill. I lost sight of the only target that matters. The only light left in my life. <sighs> She's gone.